Mary Poppins is a classic, supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. <coughs> That happened. But probably the most ridiculous thing by far is the umbrella float. Yes, I know it's technically just magic, but not on my channel it isn't. So I'm going to figure out how you too can create a floating sensation. <laughs> Hello, I'm Julie Andrews, and if a spoonful of sugar helps the medicine go down, then we'll calculate the spoonful's oxygen percentage and figure out if it actually dilutes medicated products. Childhood shatters like sugar glass. And then we'll calculate the hydrogen contained in the sugar glass. But today, we'll be taking a look at Mary Poppins' infrangible, volatational, miniature parachute. To find out how she could float in such a bizarre manner, we need to know the wind speed that blows on her to keep her up. She moves at a constant speed down, and her speed never changes, so this means that the wind blowing up on her must create a force equal to the force of gravity pulling her down. Her force of gravity is easy, that's just her weight. But we need her weight in newtons, which is just metric. Julie Andrews weighs in at 69 kilograms, 150 pounds, or 677 newtons. <laughs> that was so hard. And now, here's where it gets nasty. We'll need to, naturally, be dealing with the windy updraft, which means, yes, we need to pull out the classic monster that keeps popping up all over my channel, the drag equation. It gives me chills. It's so tantalizingly terrifying. Force equals air density times area exposed times drag coefficient times velocity squared divided by two. It's all right, I've got this under control, hopefully. Air density, that's easy, 1.225 kilograms per cubic meter. Common knowledge on this channel at this point. Drag coefficient, well, her umbrella is a strange shape. It's a hemisphere, but hollowed out, and the wind is blowing up into the hollow side. So its shape gives it a CD of 1.42, which is very high. Perfect. Makes the umbrella just a smidgen more likely to be actually realistic. Mary Poppins's umbrella has a circular bottom, so we can use pi times the radius squared to figure this one out. Julie stands at 1.73 meters tall, and comparing her to her sturdy umbrella, her umbrella is 0.8 meters across, and thus has a 0.4 meter radius. Squaring, pi-ing, and equation filling, we get a perfect area of 0.5 square meters. Oh, that's nice. We now have everything except velocity, and in this case, this happens to be the speed of the windy updraft. So let's find it. Rearranging, we get the terminal velocity formula. LOL! But calculating this gives us the answer the whole world hasn't cared to properly look for. 39.42 meters per second, 140 kilometers per hour, or almost 90 miles per hour. Those are wind velocities only found in F1 tornadoes or Category 1 hurricanes. And her umbrella doesn't even flip inside out. Strongest rain protection ever. But we ain't done yet. Dang it. I intentionally said the word ain't. Next to y'all, ain't ain't something I should say. Ugh. Air has to lift poppins up, but just how much air? Well, we need to do some formula poppin. <laughs> the name poppins is almost as a pundit for jokes as the word pun itself. This time, though, we catch a break, and we only have to deal with the velocity flow rate formula. Area times velocity. Her umbrella is 0.5 square meters, and her surprisingly subsonic updraft is 39.42 meters per second. This means that the air must blow 50 pounds of air every second at her to lift her. That's the same amount of air as the amount of water in a pool nine feet in every direction. That's the same air volume as the liquid in 55,500 pop cans. Merry pop cans. But how does this floaty withstand such a stormy updraft? I mean, since it has to experience that 677 newtons, and it has an area of 0.5 square meters, it experiences a pressure of 1300 pascals, or just over 3 ounces of force every square inch. I'm certain that it would flip inside out. But no, it's apparently magic. Enough said, Mary. What kind of camouflaged artificial wind tunnel are you using? What kind of iron parachute are you packing? This woman scares me. Until next time, I'm the Theorizer. <laughs>